All right, so what, I, what I've been doing is, this is an outdoor area light or a security light. Uh, I just bought two of these on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description where I got these. Um, I bought, like I said, I bought two of them uh, because I'm replacing um, on my barn here, I got an old, or I had an old um, mercury light there and I replaced it with this um, LED light. The old mercury light used 175 watts um, and the light was kind of greenish, okay, and it didn't, it just lit up the basic area. I mean, it, it, it didn't light up that, that far. I changed it and I put this bad boy on there. This is only 75 watts and it puts out twice the light. This is a, five, a 5,000K Kelvin light, so it's a nice, bright, crisp white color. And it lights up not only the area where my, uh, that little shed is, um, but my, my, uh, where the garage is and the garage entrance and all that. It, it really lights up that whole area. It's beautiful and it puts, like I said, twice the light. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put one out here. Uh, this is the side of my house here. Um, so I'm going to put one out here on these. Uh, this is a two inch schedule 40 uh, galvanized pipe. Um, leftovers that I had from the um, uh, solar panels, the, my solar array. So we're switching over and I'm putting all LEDs out here. So get this. And in our house we're switching over to LEDs because they save so much electricity and the light is so much more crisp and, and, and nice. Uh, so, a lot, of you, a lot of you remember the old incandescent light bulbs, right? Well, a 100 watt light bulb, we knew how much light that put out, right? Well, they used 100 watts. And then uh, they made a switch over to those CFLs, which I wasn't a big fan of. But the only thing I liked about them is it did save electricity. Uh, they didn't last that long, but they did save electricity. Um, so 100 watt light bulb, then they went to CFLs and they used roughly 23, 24 watts. That's good. And now they come out with LEDs, and now these LEDs that are equivalent to the 100 watt incandescent uh, only use 11 to 12 watts, roughly. So we went from using 100 watts down to 24, 23, 24 watts, and then now down to 11 or 12 watts, and still putting out the, the same amount of light, if not better. Uh, so that's awesome. These here, the ones I'm replacing were 175 watts, the mercury lights, and like I said, the light was kind of green, and I didn't like them. And they buzzed, they made that bzzz, you know, sound when they're uh, on all night. Anyways, those are 175 watts. I'm replacing the one on the, uh, the, my shed there and this one up here in the tree uh, that one's also 175 watt mercury uh, uh, light so 175 175 350 I'm replacing them with two 75 waters that's 150 for both so it's a savings of 200 watts I'm saving right there so that's that's awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this um, this is actually a 21 foot pole and what I did, they're threaded on both ends and like I said those were leftovers from the uh, my uh, solar array. 2 inch galvanized steel um, and I had this piece here and I'm going to use a coupling and mount this to this pole before I mount it in the cement and the only thing I did here, I couldn't figure out how to hook this up so I just did something like this, kind of rigged it, but it'll work. All right, and this is a light here. And this here is your um, uh, photo, whatever, bolt light, uh, switch here. When it gets dust to dawn light, a switch. Um, and these come off. So go like that, it's just a little plug. Plugs into the top of here. You got to make sure you get it right. And um, so, yeah, I'll be saving a lot of electricity uh, every month using these because these are on all night. All right, so uh, I guess I can start installing it.
Well, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> this thing is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I don't know how much it weighs, but it, it, I thought I was going to be able to put it up here in the hole and then walk my way up and put it in the hole, but it was a lot heavier than I thought. So then I decided to strap it up with the tractor, kind of balance it and then bring it up a ways and then bring it into the hole, but the tractor wouldn't go up high enough. So I had to keep sliding the strap down further down. Um, then I had to have my wife lift the bucket up high enough to where I can put it into the hole and have her drop it into the hole. Now at the bottom of the hole, I put a piece of um, uh, broken um, concrete block. Uh, it's just to keep this pole from digging into the mud because I want it off, off the ground. Um, so that's resting on that block. Uh, then you saw me, I filled it with cement and then stood it up, got it nice and central and, and put these supports on here. And I have it nice and plumb. So, uh, as you can see here, I have roughly four more inches to go to reach the top. I have one more bag of uh, cement there and it, it's too much for the hole and I don't want to split it in half. So that's good enough. Um, I'll just cover it with dirt and uh, have the grass go around it. It won't be so bad. Um, and when I bring my wire, I'm going to bring it underground and it'll be nice. I can bring it right up to the pole and then up the pole here. I just got to get, I have to mount a box on here so I can join the two wires together. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm done with this project. The electrical is all hooked up. Um, I put my conduit in the ground here. Uh, what I did for the wire here is uh, I laid out all the conduit on the ground, what I'm going to use, fed my wire through each one, and then when everything looked nice, then uh, I glued everything together or cemented everything together. And I think this is one inch, no, three quarter inch PVC conduit I used. Um, after everything was cemented together, I put it in the trench here, and you can see here I put a pretty little box um, on the pole where it connected the wires uh, to make it look almost professional-like. <laughs> so, uh, this is the amazing part. Now, I told you the old, my old mercury light was a 175-watt one, uh, mercury light, and this is what it looked like last night. I took a video of it just before I turned the power off. You can see it's green, it's ugly, and it doesn't put out that much light. Now here is the new light. Amazing. Okay, we're using half the electricity, or more than half actually, and it puts out two or three times the light. It's amazing, and the, the light is crisp, clean, and white. The side of my house is all lit up. The, the whole area here is lit up. It's beautiful. Um, and it's, it's just a good feeling to know that you're uh, putting out all that light, and you're using less than half the electricity um, of those old mercury lights. So guys, if you're interested in these lights here, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, to where I got them on Amazon. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, that will alert you to any video that I put out. And uh, guys, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.